Let's get down, let's get down to business. Okay, so you, I say we met in 2019, right at the very end, um, yeah. just before you became Irish champion. Um, you did do a course, um, a fitness course. Well, what made you decide? What was the, the sort of the decision process in you coming and getting a PT cert? Um, I've been in gyms since I'm, like I said, yeah, I stepped foot in the in the boxing gym from seven, and from then I've just been I've just been into training. Like so I'm I'm even when I fight, like I'll fight on a Saturday, and Pete and I'll uh, my biggest probably my what I get in the most trouble for is training too much. Um, I I fight on a Saturday and, and by the by the Tuesday I'm in the gym, but uh, I'm. It's it's different type of training. I like doing like what I call bro sessions or bicep curls and like I can't really do them when I'm preparing for a fight because we're working on certain aspects of even my strength training is geared towards fighting, plyometrics and all that kind of stuff. So I can't really just go into the gym and lift weights and, and feel strong. And I've always wanted to. I suppose when I was uh, when I was only young, like fourteen, fifteen, I would have been very skinny and I would have been like probably picked on a little bit for for being uh, being so skinny and so small. And like I said to you, when I was when I was fighting even in the European Championships in uh, twenty thirteen, I was probably six foot and fifty two kilos, so I was very very skinny at that time as well. And always been into the weight side of things and getting strong and feeling strong. And uh, just the more and more time the past that uh, of. I've got more and more into the fitness side of things. Like I started off in in just boxing and and wanting to know more about boxing, but then I obviously got into the strength side of things and and fitness, and then met Noel, who coaches me, learned so much from him as well about coaching and about about fitness, about nutrition and sleep, recovery, all all these things, and it just got me more and more interested. And then um, plans like I, I do, I would like to coach eventually. Um, probably don't I don't have the time for it right now because I'm so focused on one thing and one goal but eventually when I finish boxing I'd like to I'd like to go into coaching and own a gym and coach people and stuff like that so yeah the, I, I was actually at the time when I did the, just before I did the course I was doing a couple of uh, PTs as in teaching people how to box and a couple of boxing boxing sessions it was the time when I was injured so I was out of the ring I wasn't making money I was I was injured for six months so um, I decided to use the time wisely and, and coach a few people and, and teach people to box. But obviously to to do that in the gym, I had to be insured. So I had to go and get a, a certificate. So yeah. that's why that's initially why I went to did that was was to just get insurance to coach people how to box. But like I said to you, I've always been into the to the weight side of things, to the strength side of things, the fitness side of things. So that was an, that was an interest to me as well. And, yeah. and uh, went in and enjoyed all that. And. I'd like to. I'd like to eventually go on and and coach 